Hi, my name is Elizabeth and welcome to another Groovy Videos audio tip. In today's tip, we are going to compare the sound quality of a video camera's built-in microphone with an external microphone. In this case, a lavalier or a lapel mic, similar to the one I'm wearing. You might have noticed when using your video camera that the resulting sound quality is oftentimes poor to average. This is really apparent if you compare your video sound to the professional sound you hear on television and in the movies. Well, if you're just relying on your video camera's built-in microphone to capture sound, that's where your problem starts. The microphones built into most cameras these days yield low-quality sound. That's because they're omnidirectional, which means they're sensitive to sound in all directions not just the particular sound source you're trying to record. These built-in microphones pick up and amplify the ambient noise in your filming environment. For example, when filming outdoors, you'll record background sounds, everything from birds chirping to your neighbor's lawnmower or crowd sounds. It then boosts all of the sound to an equal level so that the sound you really wanted to capture can be drowned out by all of the incidental noise. Another problem with built-in microphone is that it also records your camera's internal motor noise and adds that as a layer of sound to your video. On your final video, this comes across as a distracting hum or buzz. Sometimes you can also hear a mechanical sound on your video when you use the zoom feature. Fortunately, some of these issues are less prevalent with the newer cameras that don't have motors since they use solid state storage rather than tapes. The best way to circumvent all of these sound problems is to attach an external microphone, uh, such as the lavalier or lapel mic that I've been using throughout this video, to your camera to improve sound quality. To demonstrate the improvement in sound quality using an external mic, this is what I sound like with the lavalier mic attached to my video camera and this is what I sound like without the lavalier mic. Right now we're filming with no external microphone attached to the camera. We're simply relying on the camera's built-in microphone to record sound. Hear the difference in the sound quality? Now if we were recording in an environment with a lot of background noise, the sound quality would be even worse. Here I'm back using my trusty and inexpensive lavalier mic. Hopefully you like the sound quality a lot better. I know I do. Lavalier microphones are popular because they're small, easy to attach to your video camera, and can be clipped unobtrusively to clothing. As opposed to a handheld mic, they allow for hands-free audio recording. The main reason an external mic works better is that it puts the microphone closer to the sound source. Even if internal camera mics were really high quality, which they aren't, the audio would likely be improved simply by having the external mic that much closer to the speaker or whatever the sound source happens to be. This mic I'm using is a wired Lavalier Audio-Technica ATR35S. Similar, micro similar microphones usually run around $20 but we were lucky enough to get a real bargain on eBay for $7.50 because this particular model has been discontinued. More expensive lavalier mics with additional features can run several hundreds of dollars. Our lav is a basic condenser microphone with a 20-foot cable, which is a good length to accommodate most interview, interview filming situations. It comes with a battery, and a windscreen, which is the foam screen on the top, which helps minimize wind noise when filming outdoors. I simply attach the microphone to the input on my camera, and then I clip the other end to my clothing. This external mic now overrides my camera's built-in mic. The lav mic is designed to record human voice and eliminate background noise. It's perfect when you're doing interviews or stationary how-to videos like this one. Now here's another tip. If you haven't purchased a video camera yet, or you're thinking of upgrading, make sure the camera you purchase comes with a microphone input. Not all cameras do. 
Here's where the input is on this camera. You need the microphone input if you want to attach an external mic, such as a lavalier mic or a handheld mic, to your camera. Also, look at the placement of the microphone input on the camera. If possible, purchase a camera with the mic input on the side opposite the video screen, and here's why. Mic inputs on the inside of the video screen require the screen to be open in order to access them. This means you can't close the screen as long as the microphone is attached, and the wires can get in the way of your screen. A solution for this is to purchase separately a right angle adapter for your mic to help keep the wire out of the way, just like we've done here. So there you have it, our tip comparing the sound quality of a camera's built-in microphone versus an external microphone, the lavalier mic. For more tips on how to make videos, be sure to go to groovyvideos.com or like us on Facebook. And thanks for watching.